Okay, I thought I'd come on here and uh, kind of compliment uh, Lawrence's tutorial by talking about a few things uh, for the Mac, especially if you are um, wanting to develop for the iPhone or iPad. And since Lawrence is on the uh, the PC, he couldn't exactly show you guys um, how to do that uh, because Dreamweaver, for him, doesn't have this part right here. So uh, that right there is one of the things you're going to need to look at uh, to get this started if you are on the Mac. Just uh, Probably you'll just need to put in there, you know, this... Um, forward slash, backslash, I can never remember which one's which, and then uh, developer, and uh, you should be good from that point on. You just click um, save. And uh, one thing I should comment on right away is uh, if you are, well, you should be using Dreamweaver CS 5.5 for this, and I'm used, yes, that's correct, Dreamweaver CS 5.5, uh, and then there's also a 5.5.1, or uh, actually probably the up here in the menu it's going to say 11.5.1 there's an update that gets you that point one at the end for some reason after three different installs and restarting i still couldn't get it in there but apparently all that does is it just fixes a little issue where if you go over here to configure application framework uh the easy install uh just starts working again. Uh, right now, when I try to do it, it'll go through all the steps and it'll just say that it failed to install. And that's actually one of a couple errors I've had uh, recently getting started here. But uh, we're, let's keep talking about um, the iPhone development because really in the end you can just kind of follow uh, Lawrence's tutorial for just downloading the Android SDK and just linking it up um, in here. You know, just basically doing the same exact thing. So. Um, you should be all right there, but now uh, you do have to do a few more things if you want to get going here on the Mac. And of course, uh, you do need to download uh, Pho PhoneGap, and I put that over here. Okay, so that's where it landed when I downloaded it. And one of the first things I did was go over here to Lib, iOS, and I just went through the usual installation process with a DMG. Then your copy of oops, Xcode should have a template in there for setting up a new uh, PhoneGap project. So here we go. PhoneGap based application. Click on next. You can just um, save this anywhere on your desktop or wherever you want to put it. Test gap two, I'll call it because I already have a test gap one. Let's give it a sec. Okay, just create it there. That's good. Now, here comes some of the tricky stuff. And actually, this is we're not going to do anything with Dreamweaver just yet. I, I want to show you guys this side of things. And then we'll kind of pair that up with Dreamweaver in one moment. And by the way, everything I'm teaching you right now is also available over here at phonegap.com slash start iOS. But, um, you know, I'm kind of one of those people that uh, <laughs> I'll, go, I'll look at step two and then I'll go down to step four and I'll, you know, go, uh, uh, why, why pay attention to step three? I don't know. So if you don't go in order here, you will run into a little bit of an issue. And uh, first off, I want to show you guys that um, here is the, the, the folder that I saved this project in that you just saw me create. And... Um, I want to just point out that there right now isn't a folder in here that is about to be in there as soon as we go over here and hit run. Okay. All right, now you go, failed? What? <laughs> this thing, I didn't do anything to it yet. What's the problem here? Well, uh, let's go over here and. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? It didn't do it. I thought it was going to do it. And I think that's because we need to go ahead and set this up to a higher deployment target. That might have been what got me messed up yesterday a little bit. Okay, it should still fail. Or at least give you this big old warning right here. Okay. Uh, we can ignore this. This is just saying that um, my provisioning profile doesn't match. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second too. But the important thing is, is that now we didn't get a big old failed message. We just got this warning one. And... It created a folder for us. Hmm. Hmm. Index.html and PhoneGap, and then the version are in there now. So 
here's the next step. You've made it that far. Uh, the next thing that we are going to do is now drag that folder into the project. Okay, so again, have this open. Take this little guy and put it on top of this. Okay, just right there. Oh, wait, no. And that's not the message I want to see. I think it's that. Okay, there we go. And create folder references for any added folders. Boom. All right, now we can kind of unfurl this guy down. And let's do this. Let's um, let's do it in the simulator at first. And let's see what happens. So far, no issues. Build succeeded. Well, I meant to do that in the iPhone simulator, but that's okay. Still loading up, but it often does that the uh, <clears throat> first time you load up the simulator. Okay. Well, this is the same thing you're really just going to see on the um, the phone, too. Just much smaller. Alert! Phone gap is working. All right. That is great. Good to see that. Okay. Now, remember that initial warning that I got about um, <clears throat> the, the code signing? Well, that would get resolved over here in build settings. And um, if you guys haven't gone through the steps of setting up... Um, you know, your provisioning profiles and everything. Uh, that's done. In fact, actually, they have a link to it right here in the setup guide with uh, PhoneGap. You um, you do that. Uh, here, wait, I'll just log in real quick. That's over here in your provisioning profile. Go over here to provisioning, and um, they've got plenty of instructions for you there. But what I'm going to show you guys is that um, you don't really have to have a full app ID to get rid of that message. Uh, for example, when I'm just when I just create a new project, um, I tend to just go over here and, and use my iOS team provisioning profile. So that's kind of like your default one. It doesn't actually have a um, the entire application identifier um, in there. So like here's it's getting clipped off, but here's like one of them from my, one of my pinball games. Okay, so uh, this little star symbol here just means that basically can sign it any app. Um, so now, if I go over here to my iPhone, I'll at least run this. Of course, you guys won't see that, but um, so far, so far, good. It says it built successfully. Uh, sometimes, this is one of the worst warnings you get. <laughs> Just because it's so unnecessary. Provisioning profile is expiring. They're always expiring. None of these are permanent, okay? And some of them go away after just a few months. It's, it's, it's insane. Anyway, I tested this on the phone, and now everything is working again. Okay, why did I go through all this in Xcode um, if most of Lawrence's co course is going to be in Dreamweaver? Well, the cool thing about this is you can, um, you can work in Dreamweaver and... Um, copy the files into this WW folder here. Okay, so, and actually you don't even have to copy them um, directly into the project. Now if I were to add files into this folder, they're gonna show up over here. So what we'll do in a moment is we'll, we'll, we'll play around with uh, Dreamweaver and we'll get it to create some um, similar files and then we'll just overwrite what's uh, inside of here. And then that way you can, um, you can build uh, an Xcode, which I think it's going to have some advantages. I mean, I know for me it already had some advantages because um, when I was using, when I was testing in Dreamweaver, it, uh, it built the project, but then it gave me a, an error and said building failed, but it kind of created everything. So um, this is kind of a good workaround uh, that you can kind of use both, really. And also, too, um, there's nothing that says you, you just can't work um, basically with the file. You know, you can just code the files in here, too, all right? You know, really just comes down to your preferred uh, kind of editor for HTML5 and CSS and all that stuff. But of course, you know, Xcode is not really, um, you know, meant like Dreamweaver is to, to be working with uh, those frameworks. Uh, but just know that, you know, this is, um, this is an option that you certainly have. And a good one. So anyway, um, now too, you know, that PhoneGap uh, and Xcode are working together. So let's go get Dreamweaver open. Okay, so back over here in the Dreamweaver universe. Let's go over here to new. Actually, you know what? Sorry. First, let's go over to new site. And 
let's just call this. Um, oh, I don't know. If I'm going to have course out of that. on save and over here in your files window you should now see basically just an empty folder but uh, let's go to new then go to page from sample mobile starters and jQuery mobile phone gap all right hit create then let's go and hit save. We will just call this index. All right, copy dependent files. Yes, let's do that. Okay, so look at all this stuff it's going to throw in with us. Go ahead and hit copy. And now we've got a lot more stuff in our files folder. Okay. And they've done a quick little mock-up of a few pages here. Now, of course, when this um, this gets published to the phone, it actually looks uh, a lot different. It's it's sort of more of a, um, a phone interface. It, it looks actually nothing like like this. And speaking of phones, sorry, mine just went off. But uh, here's where I got into some issues. Uh, let's go over here to application settings. And all right. Uh, let's just put Justin in here. All right, so I click save. Can we do a site? Build. Oh, let's try build it anyway. And what this is actually doing is building an Xcode project for us. Okay, now, yep. Phone gap course failed to complete successfully. Uh, I dug around and I found a lot of other people that uh, found that had that same issue, and there just seems to be something going on with um, how it can. I don't know. For me, I had this issue, but maybe for you guys, you won't. So it's kind of a, a moot point. But um, it seemed to when I checked the build logs, it had something to do with this camera.h file. And if you were to just Google that exact error, you're going to find a lot of people complaining about it. So. Um, all I can really say is I hope <laughs> things go well for you guys. Uh, but if not, then we're going to talk about the workaround, which we kind of already have because I, that's why I was talking about Xcode at the beginning of this. But anyway, look what it created for me. Okay, desktop. Um, this wasn't there before. All right. And here's what it did. Made all this stuff for us, including that www folder, which should look... Or should remind you at least of what we already had on our desktop there with the test gap two course member www. So let's try this. Let's go and take this www folder, right? And we'll take some of the contents from it and put it into my Xcode project. Okay, so this is what Dreamweaver made for me. And this is what the Xcode template had for me. What I'll do is I'll leave the um, this file the same, and I'll just copy in this. So we'll replace that. Okay. Now let's give this a shot. I'll run this in the iPhone simulator. And notice too, um, obviously it left all the folder structure the same. I just copied those in there, so it's good. And here comes the simulator. Splash screen is still the same. And here we go. This is exactly what we had in Dreamweaver, right? Page two, page three, page four. I told you guys it was going to look different. Uh, where'd my simulator go? There it is. So when you click on it, hey, look, it gets you over there. Content, page footer, 
page three. So, again, I hope for you guys' sake, you don't have to uh, go through that, but um, if you do, that uh, that's, seems to be a perfectly good workaround. And again, this really just kind of comes down to you guys making, um, you know, different HTML files, JavaScript files, and all that stuff, and just throwing it into um, this part of uh, Xcode, whether or not it's Xcode that creates the template for you, or if it's uh, Dreamweaver that hopefully successfully does. But from here on out, you should be able to um, work just fine with uh, Lawrence's course. And of course, you know, if, you, if he makes a file, you make a file, you put it in with your stuff and um, test it out. Alrighty, hope that helps.